Hey you guys, so I am hopping on here to film a little intro for this video because I kind of just jumped right into chopping veggies, but Stella, hi, hi Stella, you want to tell the friends hi, <gasps> they missed you, <gasps> they missed you so much, Miss Stella's a precious girl, hi. So, anyways, I wanted to hop on here and film a little intro for this video. This is going to be a recipe video. Recipe video. I use the word recipe, recipe loosely because these are not anything revolutionary or things you've never heard of before. I'm a normal person. I'm just cooking dinners for my family. And these are some of my all-time favorite go-to things to cook for dinner. Like, and I can't even remember how many things are in this video maybe like seven but everything that I made today is amazing we love it every time I make it we're like damn that was good like we always are just like left pleased and satisfied you gotta love it so with this video I'm hoping to bring you guys a little bit of inspiration a little bit of ideas some maybe something you can make for your family um and I do kind of move through them a little quickly. So if you need to pause or rewatch, go for it. But um, I didn't want to take up a ton of your time. Um, but all the recipes are fairly simple. They use kind of the same ingredients. And you just got to love it. You just love simple recipes. It's nothing that you need to like go to the store and buy 10,000 things for one recipe. You know, it's just simple stuff. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let's get to cooking. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing we are making are, um, or is salmon power bowls. And these are one of our go-tos whenever we have salmon. Um, so first off, I'm just going to go ahead and do the veggies. So this will be a reoccurring theme in this video. We try to have veggies with every single meal. Um, normally we do broccoli, carrots, zucchini, squash, green beans, um, cauliflower, all that kind of good stuff. And then also what you're going to see in this video is me seasoning a lot of like the stuff with basically the same stuff. So I just do... Um, and then now I'm making quinoa. Um, I do garlic powder, onion powder, Tony's, pepper, uh, paprika, minced onion. So you'll see me seasoning stuff with like the same thing like throughout this whole video. And those are just my go-tos. Um, but for these power bowls, so we're going to do veggies and quinoa as the bed. And then we are going to put cubed up salmon, um, and you cook it in the air fryer and it is amazing. So I'm just taking the skin off of the salmon and then I'm slicing it into little tiny cubes. Um, and I get the salmon from Aldi and it is like so freaking good. I love it. And um, we've never had anything weird or crazy with the salmon. Um, so what you're going to do is just put it in a bowl. And then you're going to do a little mixture of soy sauce. Um, some sort of teriyaki, general so's, stir fry sauce, whatever you have on hand, Asian sauce. And then you're going to do garlic and the usual seasoning. So when I say usuals, it's going to be pepper, garlic powder, Tony's, um, all that kinds of stuff. I just literally use the same seasonings. And then here's the minced onion. And then I do everything bagel, um, like a little mixture. And then you're just going to pop that right in the air fryer. And my air fryer is not fancy, so I don't have any sort of like time settings on there. Or I mean temperature. So I just turn it on and then I just keep checking it until it's like crispy. Um, and here it is. It is phenomenal. And sometimes we put like a little sauce on top, but y'all, this is so damn good. I am getting hungry just looking at it, but the salmon gets crispy and charred from the air fryer with the veggies and the quinoa, the Asian seasonings. Oh, it's so freaking good. Okay. Next up, we are doing chicken fajitas and this is not a usual meal 
that is in like our weekly rotation, I was just um, wanting some chicken fajitas. And I got inspiration from the veggies at Chipotle, how they slice them up like long ways like the bell peppers and the onions. So I did the same exact thing and I was pleasantly surprised. It actually turned out really, really freaking good. Um, so I just went ahead and chopped up the bell peppers and the onions and then I just did some oil and then um, all my usual seasonings and I added a little bit of um, taco seasoning as well, which you guys will see. And I add garlic to pretty much everything, but there's the taco seasoning. And then I just let those cook, like, on low, medium. Oh, we have a special guest appearance. Look how cute my angel is. He's such a good helping boy. Um, but, yeah, I just let those cook on, like, medium, low-ish for a while. Put the lid on, let them cook. And then while those were cooking, I went ahead and started my chicken. And, you guys, I am so picky about chicken. Like, if there is a tendon or anything weird, like, I will cut it out. Like, I can't deal with, like, weird parts of chicken. Like, it will make me, like, so repulsed by it. So, I cut out a lot of the parts that I don't like. And then I'll cook those up and just, like, put them in Stella's food. Just, like, plain chicken. Um, but I did go ahead and just cook up the chicken in little strips um, with some oil and the rest of the taco seasoning. And I just got that crispy let that go for a little bit and I was so surprised at how good these little fajitas turned out um normally if we do fajitas it's like from the grill and it's like you know fajita meat chicken or whatever or beef but I was surprised at my little fajitas here they turned out good and the bell peppers and onions were exactly what I had in mind they turned out so freaking good but here I am assembling my tortillas wow I put that in really fast motion but um, you guys know how fajitas go. And then we use plain Greek yogurt as sour cream. And I did some picante sauce um, along with these chips. These chips are really freaking good. And then I just topped it with some lettuce and the corn tortillas. You guys, 10 out of 10. This was so good. And I'm probably going to start making this more often. It was really good. All right, y'all. So next up, we have peanut butter Asian pasta with chicken and this is arguably one of my all-time favorite meals. I love it so much. So you do veggies, whatever kind of veggies you want and then um, with the chicken you're just going to season it with all your regular seasonings and then you're going to add some Asian sauce, whatever you have. Um, soy sauce or I do always do soy sauce and then general so's or teriyaki sauce whatever that's what the chicken's gonna look like and the key right here is the pasta so here's the sauce for the pasta and what you're gonna do trust me you're gonna put two tablespoons of peanut butter like one and a half of soy sauce um, you're gonna do a couple teaspoons of teriyaki general so's whatever you got then you're gonna do about a tablespoon and a half of honey and then you're going to put some seasonings in there. And then you're going to throw it in the microwave. And I did mine a little bit too long. It still was perfectly fine. But just see how it's a little dark. Um, just check it until it's just like liquidy. And all you need it is to be a little liquidy. And then you're going to put it in the pasta. And this pasta is fettuccine noodles. Um, but you're just going to mix that up. You guys... My mouth is literally watering right now. This is my favorite meal. It is so, it is so good. I cannot stress how good this is. And I was so excited. I almost threw my tongs. You guys, I know this was a quick, like, recipe of it, but the chicken with the Asian sauce, the veggies, we did broccoli, carrots, um, onions. So good, okay? And now we're going to move to... That was really fast. But now we're doing like a Mediterranean lemon garlic chicken power bowl. We do a lot of power bowls around here. Um, but we're doing veggies. So we're doing zucchini. We're doing broccoli. Um, and we're going to put oil on that. Or like some olive oil. Whatever kind of oil. We're going to mix it up. We're going to season it. And then we're going to roast these. So instead of doing it in a pan, we're going to be roasting um, the veggies. This, Excuse me. Roasting the veggies this time. And um, this just gets them a little more charred, a little more crispy. It's so good. And make sure to oil the pan too because they will stick. 
be generous with the oil and I do throw some potatoes on here cubed up because I needed to use these potatoes and I love roasted potatoes and I think it adds just another good element to this to the roasted veggies um, but we're gonna put them back in the bowl oil those season those and then add those to the pan as well as well as an onion because you got to have an onion um but we're just going to add all those to the pan as well and then what i like to do is make a little hole in the middle and then do tomatoes roasted tomatoes are phenomenal they're so good so i'm just going to add these to the mix and um pop those in the oven i usually do it at like 375 and then i'll stir it like a couple of times while it's cooking but i just keep an eye on it until they're like a little bit brown but, um, oh, and then I'm doing roasted carrots in the air fryer. You guys, this is so good too. Oh my God, this is so slept on. Put, go get a bag of baby carrots from the store, put olive oil on them, put some seasonings, throw them in the air fryer. And I'm telling you, this is so bomb, like literally so freaking good. Um, all right, so here's a little final clip of the veggies. See how they're just a little bit charred? And then the chicken, and we did quinoa. I didn't do a very good job at showing this, but look at the carrots. Oh my god. Okay, oh, and then I did chickpeas. I put some oil in those and some seasonings, put those in the air fryer too. Because um, this is like a Mediterranean style bowl, so I did do chickpeas, and it was so good. So we're just going to assemble the bowl, and quickly, don't forget the feta, but quickly for the chicken, what I did was just cube it up, and I do my usual seasonings, and then I added a whole lemon, juice from a whole lemon, and um, do like lemon chicken it takes it to the next level the lemon juice really really does it um, but what you do is just put the bed of quinoa you put the chicken the chickpeas the roasted carrots the roasted veggies the feta y'all this is this is one of our top three favorite dishes that I make we both absolutely love it it's so good all right, and then I feel like I'm going so fast. I'm sorry, but I did not want this video to be forever long. Um, this is my favorite go-to baked salmon. So what we have here is veggies to the right as usual and then cubed up sweet potato to the left. And then in the, um, the salmon. Okay, so here we go. So I do a little mixture of Dijon mustard and... Um, I have two flakes, one for me, one for my boyfriend. I like Dijon mustard with soy sauce with seasonings and garlic. This shit right here is so damn good. Trust me on this Dijon mustard and the soy sauce. Just trust me. Please just trust me. It's so good. And then for my boyfriend, I do the same exact thing. I use the rest of it and he likes barbecue added. So I add barbecue to his. Um, same exact thing, just add barbecue. And we absolutely love this. Put it in the oven at 350. Keep an eye on it until it's nice and crispy or however you like your salmon. And then right there is the sweet potatoes diced up. And then here is carrots, broccoli, onions, zucchini. Um, and then now I'm going into our little rice stash and I'm pulling out a bag of rice. We're doing jasmine rice. Girl, look at that salmon. Look at that salmon. This is Aldi salmon again all plated up and we always love cottage cheese with this meal just please look how good this looks it is absolutely phenomenal i have been making this for years and it is so good it's so good okay who let me catch my breath next up we're doing taco bowls and this is so freaking simple you just do we do ground turkey um, with taco seasoning and i squeezed a lime in there just for a little limey we do shredded lettuce we do picante sauce, we do plain Greek yogurt and sour cream, some more lime, we do some cheese and some rice. This is a spicy tomato and pepper rice that we had, as well as a little diced up tomato, some corn, some black beans. You guys, look at the spread. Like, you just gotta love it. And normally I'll do like a Mexican blend of cheese, but I didn't have any, so I just used this cheese, but it was still just as good. So I just assemble my taco bowl. So I just do rice with the ground up taco meat. I do beans. I do corn. Put it all on there. And this never fails. This is such a good go-to. It probably took me five minutes to put together. Like the longest thing was cooking the turkey. Like it is such a quick and easy meal. And it's so healthy. So much protein. So much good stuff. Just look at that. 
you literally cannot go wrong with this meal. It is so damn good. And then I'll just eat it with um, chips usually. And I'll show you the chips that we got there from Aldi. They're seasoned um, tortilla chips. They were so good. It was crazy how good they were. But yeah. Hello, you guys. What is up? I feel like this whole video has been just me cooking food. So I wanted to hop on and say hi really quick. Um, also wanted to note that this video has been ongoing for like a week or two or maybe three weeks, honestly. Yeah, probably three. I do not cook like big fancy meals every single night. Fancy. Um, some nights we eat leftovers, some nights we eat sandwiches, like, you know, just whatever. So I just wanted to preface that by saying I don't cook a meal like this every single night. But tonight I really do not feel like cooking, but we're both so hungry. So I'm going to make salmon patties and some people might think this is gross, but I love salmon patties so much. I grew up eating salmon patties and I just love them. So this is canned salmon, wild Alaska pink salmon. This is from Aldi and um, I'll show you guys how I make them. So I have some veggies going right now. I'll go ahead and show you that. All right. So in this pan right here, I have broccoli, carrots, and onions just sauteing up because we always just like to have veggies. And then over here, I'm going to be making some like cubed up diced sweet potatoes just sauteed we love 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 to eat it that way and these really need to be used so i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna add the zucchini into that mixture over there in a bit i don't like to do it at the same time as the other two because it cooks way faster than those but i'll show you i'll show you guys me cubing this and then i'll get it in the um in that pan and then i'll go ahead and show y'all how we make our salmon patties so let's go ahead and get into it all right, so of course, after you peel the sweet potatoes, I'm gonna wash them um, because the dirt like from the peel gets on the potato and you, you just gotta get the dirt off. So, so yeah, we're washing, we're dicing, and then whenever I add them to the pan, I will add a little bit of seasonings, but honestly, we really enjoy the flavor of just like the sweet potatoes. So I usually just leave them pretty plain. And then the zucchini, I do dice it up and add it after the other stuff is like halfway cooked because it just cooks really quickly and it'll get like soggy and watery. But okay, the salmon patties. So I crushed up some crackers. This was about a half a sleeve and you'll see me later. I'll go ahead and add the other half of the sleeve. Um, don't get grossed out by the salmon, you guys. Just don't get grossed out by it, okay? It is what it is. Um, but then I added two eggs for binding and then I, here I am adding the other half of the crackers because um, it needed to be more like solid but it two eggs two cans of salmon I did the juice of a whole lemon um, a whole sleeve of crackers and um, yeah don't let yourself get grossed out by the look of the salmon just get past it and just move on because once they're done they're so good and so then I just do my normal seasonings and then um, I'll just mix it on up. And then, all right, here, here's me checking in on the veggies. They're doing good, the sweet potatoes. And then for the salmon, what you're gonna wanna do is get a pan and um, put oil in it. I used vegetable oil. And then once it gets hot, you're gonna um, make your little patties up. And don't make them too thick, not too thin, just, you know, regular little patty and then you're going to put it in the hot oil and just let it cook up and I don't coat them in anything I don't bread them um the egg and the cracker crumbs kind of keeps them all together and they just get nice and brown and crispy and oh they're so good the lemon juice really just brings out the flavors and brings it all together and the seasonings and they're so crispy and I literally grew up up on these you guys and it is just so comforting and I ate this for the for lunch for like the next two days and I was so sad when I was out because I love these so much like some people might think this is weird and I totally get it but like for me these are so freaking good and I could eat these like literally every day when I was little and my mom would make these like and she was like oh having salmon patties for dinner I would get so happy like these are a 
staple, a literal staple. And a forewarning, your house probably will smell like salmon patties. It's going to smell up the whole house, but just open the door, you know, get some fresh air in there, turn the fans on, you'll be fine. Um, I'm obsessed with salmon patties. Like, I just love it so much. And then you'll see in the end, but we just serve oh and, oh key key here get a plate and put a couple paper towels on the plate to you know soak up the extra little grease while it's cooling off that is a key because you don't want these to be greasy the paper towel helps the the extra grease to be soaked up and they are not greasy whatsoever when you eat them look at this look at this plate we have rice, we have the mixed veggies, we have the diced up sweet potatoes, and we eat this with cottage cheese. Like, tell me this doesn't look so good. Okay, you guys, so I just wanted to hop on and close out the video. I hope you enjoyed all the recipes. I know it was nothing revolutionary. Like, you've probably seen variations of these all the time, you're like, okay, but... I don't know, I like to get inspiration from people. I like to see people making realistic recipes and I enjoy when there's recipes or dinner ideas that don't involve like five ingredients that you have to go buy, like specifically for that one recipe. You know, like, cause what am I gonna do with a jar of something that was for one recipe and I'm never gonna use it again, you know? So I always kind of use the same stuff, but I mix it up a little bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you guys make anything from it or you think anything looks good or you wanna make something, let me know down below, that would be so fun. And if you have any suggestions for anything that you think I would like, I would love to hear it down below as well. I'm sorry, I look so crusty and greasy. It's been a day. Um, but I still wanted to get this finished and, um, ready to go for you guys. I have been, this video is a long time coming. As you can see by my nails in the video, I had the hearts, I had the green and maybe something else, but I've been kind of filming recipes here and there whenever I remember to film, um, for the past like month or so. So Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this. Um, I would love to film it for you guys. And until next time, I will see y'all soon. Bye, guys. Bye.